<coughs> Hello everyone, the water magister here on the next element, the element of water. And in this discussion, we're going to go over my personal experiences of DMT, uh, DMT breath, and also DMT, the spirit molecule, that's essentially in everything. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I want to discuss those two experiences or those two methods. Um, and this is for educational purposes so that when you decide to embark on this journey, that you have the awareness of what I've received to propel you forward in that space. So the first experience I've had on DMT, the spirit molecule itself, um, I remember coming out of a pool of water. And in this pool of water, I remember there being two energetically blue women and they were naked and then there was also two uh, energetically red men nearby and they were also naked and immediately when I came out of that pool of water uh, these women they approached me from both sides and they asked me uh, do you want to have sex and I looked and I said no I don't want to um, I'm here because I want to explore more of who I am and why I'm here and they said good and I, they waved their hand like this and when they waved their hand a little bit away uh, there was this temple door or this temple that opened and then the temple doors opened from there and I was transplanted uh, to the temple doors and then I stepped through it and then there was this uh, librarian of sorts standing there and he pointed me to a direction and I went over to the direction and I had opened a book and in this book there was an image of this scientist that was uh, like a balding scientist and he had glasses and I uh, I didn't know who it was I just it was very clear of who the image itself so it wasn't until like three months after that I was doing work for uh, a client uh, doing website work and I'd had a a reverse image searching doing some work there and I found that image of what I saw in my experience and it ended up being Buckminster Fuller so I spent probably two three days watching every possible interview and every possible video regarding Buckminster Fuller and it gave me a lot of insight on sacred geometry and the geodesic domes um, so the, that's just one experience and the reason why I'm sharing this is because I personally have learned that DMT is actually testing your level of consciousness. It is testing to see what information it can give to you and what information that it doesn't want to give to you. So for example, in that first experience that I shared, if you analyze it, if I was still in my primal urges and if I was still in a space of wanting to be sexually promiscuous, I would have given in and I would have said yes to those energetically blue women. But before that moment, I had gone through celibacy for seven months. I had uh, no longer uh, watched porn for at least four years before that. Um, so I had a lot more self-control. And because of that, it played out in my subconscious and it played out in that experience. So again, anytime that you do this substance, it's a master teacher going to test what information it can actually give to you and what you're ready for otherwise you're going to keep spinning in a cycle and then that's all you're going to receive in that experience so that's one the second experience I want to share is um, I I remember this crossroads this, this road and I was walking down it and as I was walking these snakes came out of my chest and they were doing this and they were zigzagging in front of me and as I was walking at the end of the, the road was a crossroad, one uh, road that went left and a road that went right. And there was a signpost that went up it. And in that signpost, as we got closer, the snakes wrapped around it and they pointed to both directions. And they had asked me, or they had said to me, we want you to choose a direction, which direction will you choose? And I stood there for a moment and I looked at the signpost, I looked at the left side, I looked at the right side. And I said, no, I'm not gonna choose those directions. So instead, I chose to walk forward, which in that space, it seemed like you couldn't. But the moment I walked forward, that fabric of reality shattered 
and I was gifted more information. I was gifted certain symbols, uh, sigils, lang light language, uh, and it gave me more information about who I am. So again, it tests your level of consciousness. If I would have just uh, chosen left or right, I would have probably stayed in a loop in a cycle, and that's all the information that I would, I wouldn't have received any information actually. So again, when you do these, come at it with a greater sense of awareness where these things are teaching you aspects of yourself and they're testing to see what information it can give to you. Another powerful experience that I've had that doesn't necessarily, didn't necessarily test my level of consciousness, it just tested things, is uh, I did it and I was eye gazing um, towards the girlfriends that I had at the time and they both, we both maintained eye contact the entire time. And in that, we saw different aspects of ourselves. Our face started to change. We saw the different alien versions of ourselves, the different human versions of ourselves. And that in itself was a powerful experience. So if you want to go very deep in a connection, I highly recommend doing that and eye gazing with each other, uh, whether it be with DMT breath or DMT, the spirit molecule itself. <laughs> um, and then the last experience I want to share is this is also with an X in mind. Uh, we utilized the crystal ball, and in the back of the crystal ball, we had a candle lit. And then we both uh, took the DMT spirit molecule, and we were both looking from both angles into the crystal ball. And that experience itself, I started seeing this I want to call it a fairy, uh, but it was something that was dancing in the crystal ball and you maintain your focus on the crystal ball itself and as that was happening behind it there was like a person which this there was no person behind it if you were if you were if you didn't have taken it but there was a person holding the crystal ball kind of like a reader and holding the space and as that person was holding it or that being was holding it my focus was on the crystal ball and over to the the right no, the left side of them um, I saw this shadowy figure that kept moving and it was as if like it was taking notes and it was seeing what information that was being shared with me. Um, so that was another experience of mine that I've had. And then actually there's one more that I want to share before we close this. It's uh, another powerful method of utilizing both techniques is looking, looking into a candle flame and maintaining your awareness and attention on the candle flame. So if your mind wanders for whatever reason, you keep focusing on the candle flame. So when I did it, and I was focusing on the candle flame for those 10 minutes, all these beings were surrounding the candle flame, and when my focus would go elsewhere, they were like pointing at the flame. They're like, look at the flame, look at the flame. And the more I would focus on the flame, the more information was getting channeled into my being. And it was as if they were using the flame to transmute information into me. Um, so that's another powerful method of utilizing the medicine itself. So that's what I wanted to share this week. Um, I know it's a short video and uh, yeah, I hope this can provide some insights to some of you who are playing with uh, psychoactive uh, medicines to assist you in your own growth. So remember that these things test your level of consciousness. It tests your primal urges. It tests uh, what information it wants to gift to you. That's all it is, it's a teacher. And if you fail those tests, you're gonna be put in a circle or in a loop over and over until you pass that individual test. So thank you everyone and namaste.